So, I thought I'd show you this, which is a um, Dulcio. And some might wonder what 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 on earth a Dulcio is. Well, it's it's a um, combination of a dulcimer uh, scale or a drumstick uh, with a banjo, and that's the what would be the fifth string. Uh, drone string on on the on the a normal five string banjo and it's a dulcimer scale which means it's a diatonic so it's uh, with exception of this one which has uh, the half fret which is why I didn't play, <laughs> play the correct scale, so I missed it there. But it's it's uh, give you a bit more range, so you can play a minor key. So um, and a bit of blues as well. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not much of a, a claw hammer player, but obviously. It's, it's very well suited for playing uh, claw hammer style. Anyway, the construction of this thing. Uh, rather decorated tin, which comes from uh, Panduro, as you can see there, which is a hobby supply, craft supply shop. Um, and it's got a through neck, which is oak. All the way. It's a three string instrument, just like a dulcimer or, or a strum stick. Um, and it, the tuning of it is uh, it's tuned to D, which means that the first fret is D, sec uh, string, second string is A, and the drone string or third string. It's a bit out of tune now, but um, it's an octave above that A. Uh, I've got a birch fingerboard on it. Like that. Um, and a rosewood nut. I haven't finished this one. I haven't put put the finish on it because uh, I strung it up and I, I really enjoyed playing it. So I sort of got stuck into it. Uh, this is a banjo peg. It's a friction one, so it's not a geared fifth one. So it's not the best quality, but it it works. You know, it, it keeps it in tune. Um, the little nut for for the third string. I keep saying fifth string, but third string is uh, it's just a little brass screw that the string goes through and then rests uh, on the fifth fret yeah, to give you the, the drone. Uh, top tuners are half a mandolin bridge plate tuning plate with should have been four there so I cut it in half so got two more if I want to and I got a few more of these lying around as well so uh, and the bridge is a piece of oak with bicycle spokes and then holes that the string go through and you see I made an attempt to make a real well, a sort of a approximation of a banjo bridge. So it's, it's a piece of birch with a piece of rosewood on top of it. Uh, the whole instrument is uh, wedged together, as you can see there with the, the bridge. And in order to take the lid off, which I can't do without taking the strings, there's one wedge holding that and one here. Uh, and what I'm going to have to fix when I when I take it apart again is that it's a little bit 
it, it, it moves a tiny bit, which means it, it changes the pitch. So you have to be very still at the moment. So I'm going to secure that up so it, it plays a lot better. I left this long with a groove in it so I can attach a shoulder strap. It's, I thought it was going to be really difficult to, to sit with it, but it's not actually. And the balance of the instrument is, thanks to the tin here, it's, it's very good. Um, what I'm also going to have to do is brace the lid. So it's, it's a little soft on it. If I don't have my arm on it, Sounds alright if I have my arm on it, but if I it rattles and makes a lot of noise, so it's, it's a little too too soft. So well here it is. The Dulcio. And I must say it's it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm a little tired at the moment so I might not look like I'm having fun, but it is it is great fun. And uh, some of you out there might be thinking, oh well, you know, you can't get all the chords in and everything, but I think that's sort of the charm of the instrument. It, it, it takes away all pretensions and, and makes you play, basically. <laughs> and, and sort of focus more on melodies and, and rhythm. Uh, and if, if you're one of these players who's always struggling with the B minor 7 flat 5th chord, you don't have to feel bad because on this thing no one else can take them as well. Uh, you can do a few chords on it. Obviously you get a D5 chord doing that, but if you stick your the D and if you get the G so we got the little and a few minor chords as well. I haven't worked out all the chords yet but I'm sure there's a few more available uh, I'm fiddling around a little bit. Uh, of course, clamping a, a capo on the first fret means you get a minor scale all the way down with, with the open strings, if you so decide. What I found getting used to is that you tend to want to push your finger down here instead of near to, to the fret. So it means you sometimes don't fret so precisely and you get a bit of a buzzing noise or, or that you press the string sharp, but it's it's just a matter of, of practice. This is a two octave neck, so it goes all the way up to it's not maybe all that nice sound down there as as it is with most tin cans. So here it is. Tin Can Dulcio. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.